Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel and welcome to machine learning, AI and large language model tutorials. In this tutorial we explain how to download, install and run on a local computer the Mistral Small Tree Large Language Model or LLM. For people new to LLMs, here is a brief introduction to Mistral and to the Mistral AI company. The Mistral series of models is published by the French company called Mistral AI and that's why over here you see Eiffel's Tower. They're located in Paris if I'm not wrong and maybe some of my French friends can correct me if I'm wrong. The Mistral AI company is in the fourth place in the global AI race and in the first place outside of the San Francisco Bay Area. And this is according to Wikipedia. Now, my question is, did they consider DeepSeek and other Chinese competitors? But anyway, they're large, they're there, they're trying to publish large language models as well as other AI models. Mistral Small Tree is a relatively small model that is optimized for latency. The model has, under quotes, only 24B parameters and its quantized version is only about 14 GB large once you download on your local disk as you will see it later on. And over here, this graph shows the performance and the latency expressed in milliseconds per token. And you can see where Mistral stands and where the other models stand. For example, here you can see Quen, which has a similar latency over here or performance to be to be more precise they have similar performance however Mistral has a smaller latency and you can see GPT-40 Mini you can see Gemma Mistral Small Tree is competitive with larger models such as Llama 3.370B and Quen 32B on this YouTube channel, we have covered Llama 3.370B model and we have shown that the speed of execution on NVIDIA 3090 is not great. And I can tell you already, Mistral Small Tree has much faster execution, that is, the inference speed is faster. Mistral Tree, or Mistral Small Tree to be more precise, is released under Apache 2.0 license which is a free, permissive license that allows users to modify, use, and distribute software. And this is very, very important. That is, you can build your application, your software on top of Mistral Small Tree. It is an excellent open play replacement for GPT-40 Mini, and you will see later on the performance graphs. The performance of Mistral Small Tree is similar to Llama 3.370B Instruct, while being more than three times faster on the same hardware as well as it takes less memory, that is disk space, to download and install the model. Over here you can see some performance results and comparisons of Mistral Small Tree with other models. Here is our Mistral Small Tree and over here you can see some other model. For example, this green rectangle over here is Gemma you can see Quen 2.5, this dark green rectangle over here and over here, and over here this magenta or purple rectangle represents GPT-40 Mini. And finally you can see this blue rectangle over here, that's Llama 3.370B Instruct. So the main question is when to use Mistral 3.0. First of all, you should use it on consumer level hardware since it's, it's not hungry for memory and it can run or on lower end GPUs such as NVIDIA 3090 GPU which is around 5 years old. Then you should use Mistral 3.0 when quick and accurate responses are required since the model is relatively small. Then you should use Mistral 3.0 when low latency function calling is necessary. This is ideal for RAG, Internet agents, math reasoning, etc. Then you can also tune the Mistral 3.0 small model and this is very important. The model can be easily fine-tuned to create subject matter experts such as the experts in the fields of medical diagnostics, technical support, troubleshooting, etc. 
Our computer has the following specifications. NVIDIA 3090 GPU, 64GB RAM, Intel i9 processor, and we are running the model on Windows 11, and we will explain how to download and install the model on Windows 11. In the future video tutorial, we will explain how to download and install the model on Linux Ubuntu. Okay, let's start with explanations. Since this is an intro tutorial on Mistral, I suggest to everyone to use Olama to download and install the model locally. Namely, the first step is to test the model in Olama. If the model works, then you can proceed further and you can build on top of that model and Olama, a graphics user interface, and then you can build your own application. An example is given in my tutorial given over here. In this tutorial, whose link will be provided in the description below, I explain how to use Streamlit, which is a very useful and easy to use Python framework, for building applications. Namely, I'm using Streamlit, Olama, and a large language model such as Llama over here to build a complete large language model application that you can run in your web browser. That is, you can easily build your graphics user interface. Now, you can combine everything explained in this video tutorial together with Mistral and with Streamlit and the material presented in this tutorial to build a graphics user interface for Mistral. I know that there are also some other graphics user interfaces for running large language models. However, I don't suggest to users and to people learning large language models to, e to use these graphics user interfaces. You can easily build your own graphics user interface and that's the best strategy to learn large language models. Okay, so let's start with installation of Olama. For that purpose, go to the Olama website and then click on download. Then select your operating system and click on download for Windows and the setup file will automatically be downloaded. You just need to wait for some time for the file to be downloaded. Then let's go to downloads folder and let's wait until the file appears over here. And here it is. Now double click on this file and the installation will start. The installation is super easy and straightforward. You just click on install and over here you see what's happening. One interesting thing over here is to see where the files are being extracted. You can see where the files are. After Olama is installed, we need to verify the installation. First of all, click over here and you should see this cute small icon and it should be written Olama. Olama is currently running in the background. Next, let's verify the installation by using the command line. Click here and search for command prompt. Open command prompt and over here type Olama. And if you see this type of response, this means that Olama is installed on your system and we can proceed further. Close the command prompt and let's go back to the original Olama website. Over here, we need to search for an appropriate model. So click here and search for Mistral-small and click over here. You should be directed to this web page. Let's explain what's written over here. This is the Olama web page of Mistral-small model. Now, if you click over here, you have two options. You have this 22B model and 24B model. Let's click on this. 24B model and let's see what's written over here. We can see the number of parameters and over here we can see that this model is, is quantized. This means that the model size is reduced by performing model order reduction. And what will happen over here, this command for installing and running the model will appear. Now, copy this command open command prompt and in the command prompt over here paste the command however don't execute it instead of run type pull so what's the difference the difference is that the run command will download the model and it will run the model automatically and I don't want to do that I want to 
manually download the model as I'm doing it right now and later on I'm going to run the model. So let's press enter and over here you need to be patient. It's going to take, as you can see over here, three or four minutes to download the model. And after the model is downloaded, you should see this message verifying digest number, writing manifest and success. The next step is to learn how to run the model. To run the model, first of all, verify that the model exists on the disk. You can do it like this and you should see the model name. To run the model, you need to type Olama run and then the name of the model. Now, before we run the model, let's open a task manager in order to, mem to monitor the memory consumption as well as the GPU resources consumption. So here it is. And let's click on performance and we can see GPU over here. And let me do this for a second such that we can track everything. Okay, let's do something like this. Good, we can see our GPU and let's press enter and let's see what's happening. Okay, now the model is being loaded. You can see immediately that GPU memory is more than half full. In my case, the memory is around 24 gigabyte. That's the total memory and you can see that approximately maybe 16 gigabyte or similar amount of memory is being filled in. So let's ask a question. Describe Describe who created you. Let's see. Ah, okay, good. Can you help me to solve a quadratic equation? And let's write a quadratic equation to x plus 5 is 0. And let's see. And you can see immediately that the model was able to solve the quadratic equation. And here it is. This equation has two roots and that's correct. Good. You can see how my GPU is being used and you can see in real time how fast the model executes. And this is really, really good. So more or less in real time, you can get the response. Now, the next step for you is to write a Python code that will use this model and that will embed this model inside of graphics user interface. For that purpose, as I mentioned previously, you should watch my tutorial given over here. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you like this, like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next video tutorial.